Hey there, it's Erica Swarthy Daisy here again. Quick video on all of my Native American DNA results. So those of you who have been watching this series of videos, I have been breaking down different parts of my DNA, including my African ancestry, my European ancestry, and now in this video, we're gonna look at my Native American ancestry. So let's start by taking a look at my 23andMe results. So here you can see that 23andMe detected trace ancestry of broadly East Asian and Native American at 0.1%. Now let's look at my family tree DNA results. Family tree DNA detected North and Central American DNA at less than 1%. Now let's look at my jet match breakdown. So based on who are you made of .com, there are two particular calculators on the site on JetMatch that she's found to help identify the trace ancestry that some of us have and understand more about large percentages of Native American ancestry. So here she recommends Eurogenes K36 and MDLP World 22 calculators on JetMatch. So according to the Genealogical Musings blog, the MDLP World 22 includes ancient, full details including maps of what areas each category covers are found there. There are several Native American categories, so this may be ideal for Native American ancestry. So here the MDLP World 22 Oracle results say that if you look at number eight, Mesoamerican is listed at 0.61, Samoedic at 0.61, Melanesian at 0.35, and South America Amerindian at 0.02. And when you break that down a little bit more at number 10, you see Lumbi and the distance is 70.19. You also show my walk at 92.7 distance and Mexican at 93.56 distance. And again, you see this mixed mode population sharing. The secondary population, again, it shows the Lumbee at 7% distance is 5.31. And in this video, we'll break the Lumbee portion down a little bit more. So the other calculator on JetMatch that was recommended for Native American ancestry is Eurogenes. And this one is uh, primarily for people with European backgrounds, but I decided to try it since it was recommended. So now let's look at the Eurogenes K36 calculator. So here we see Amerindian listed at 0.36%. Now here are the 24 genetics results. So overall they have different countries broken down, but I wanted to specifically pinpoint Russia at 3.00%. I also wanted to take a look at Belize at 0.80%. So here they break down the regions in Russia and as you can see there are five regions listed. Next we'll take a look at the ethnogene results. It says trace matches were found in the following populations and they show Native American at 0.92%. So per my ancestry DNA report, in the additional community section you'll see early North Carolina African Americans listed. Having ancestors in that region, we can kind of start to make some connections to some of the Native American populations that were found in that area. So as was shown in the World 22 calculator on JetMatch, Lumbee Indians were listed. So who are the Lumbee Indians? The Lumbee tribe is the largest tribe in North Carolina the largest tribe east of the Mississippi River and the ninth largest in the nation. The Lumbee take their name from the Lumbee River, which winds its way through Robeson County. They identify themselves as a tribe, although they are in melange of Native, African, and European American blood. 
So here's some information from an article found on the Washington Post. In theory, DNA tests to determine a person's overall Native American heritage could solve some of these quandaries, but Tall Bear and Lowry say such tests are irrelevant to most tribes. When Lumbees contact her, alarmed that biological tests don't reveal their native DNA, Lowry reminds them that the companies doing the testing don't have base samples of their ancestors' DNA. The article also goes on to highlight that people are allowed to be African American in this society and not have 100% African DNA. Are the Lumbi being held to a different standard? The DNAConsultants.com website, as it references the Lumbi Indians, says, if you have a match, you probably also have Jewish and Native American ancestry and possibly Sub-Saharan African. Traits of Lumbi include dark skin, dark hair, American Indian admixture, and Jewish heritage. Now let's look at my Wee Gene results. So Wee Gene shows that I had Ashkenazi at 0.72% and American, which is Native American DNA, at 0.34%. So here are a few related ethnic groups to the Lumbees. You can pause and read. Now let's take a step back and look at the Russian DNA. Dr. Willer Slev estimates that the ancestors of Native Americans and ancient Paleo-Siberians split 24,000 years ago. The story gets more complicated. Shortly after that split, the ancestors of Native Americans encountered another population with genetic ties to Europe. All living Native Americans carry a mixture of genes from these two groups. In its research on ancient DNA, Dr. Willerslev's team found evidence that a second wave of ancient Paleo-Siberians reached Alaska sometime between 9,000 and 6,000 years ago. They made contact with Native Americans there and interbred. That's based on the New York Times article. The article goes on to explain that Dr. Scheifels and his colleagues argue that the third group encountered another group of Native Americans on the coast of Alaska and interbred with them. These people are the ancestors of Inuits and Aleuts. Scientists have suspected for a long time that Native Americans are closely related to the peoples of Altay. The theory of the Altay peoples migrating from Siberia across Chukotka and Alaska down to the Tierra del Fuego at the tip of South America appeared almost a century ago. In addition, studies have proved that some Native Americans have kinship with the indigenous populations of Australia. If we take a look at Wee Gene again, we see that I have Oceanian DNA at 0.11% broken down as Papuan and uh, Papua New Guinea is right off of Australia. In 2013, two of the world's leading scientific magazines, Nature and Science, published articles about the analysis of the whole genomes in Native Americans and their Siberian cousins. A comparison was made with the populations in other regions throughout the world. The second study analyzed 31 genomes from peoples in the U.S. and Siberia. Results from both studies confirmed that the ancestors of Native Americans left Siberia about 20,000 to 30,000 years ago. Scientists prove beyond a doubt that Native Americans are closely related to the peoples of Altay. Besides Siberian ancestors, some Native Americans showed a puzzling relation to the indigenous peoples of Australia and Melanesia in the Pacific Ocean. This is astounding because they are located in an almost opposite part on the planet. Scientists already know how humans traveled to the Americas from Altay. Instead of the Bering Strait, there was a land bridge 30,000 years ago because during the Ice Age, much water was locked in glaciers and the level of the world's oceans was lower. So based on the resources obtained from the internet, one can conclude that there are different types of ways that Native Americans intersect with other people around the world including 
people from Siberia, the Russians, the Papua New Guineans, Australians, and more. So because I have trace ancestry and so do my aunt and my mom, I would conclude that it might not be just noise, but it is picking up an ancestor that's probably five plus generations away. And because of that, the ancestry that I have or the people that I have in my family that are from North Carolina could closely relate to the Lumbee people, which are also found in North Carolina. So at this point, I will have to continue my research into my ancestors that are from North Carolina to confirm whether the Lumbee people are exactly their ancestry. So this video was just to break down the trace ancestry and just to let you all know that there are other possibilities out there. So hopefully this can help someone who is trying to establish some Native American ancestry. But this is just a sample of some of the results that I received. I would have to definitely do a lot more research and I would definitely update you all once that is done. I know this topic is very controversial because some people feel like the trace ancestry is just noise, whereas others feel like the ancestry is being picked up because there was a full-blooded Native American generations back. But whatever your thoughts are, please leave a comment below if you agree, if you disagree, if you have more information to help me to continue my research, make sure to share it. So once again, if you guys are interested in purchasing your own kit, make sure to check the description box below for my Amazon store. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Eric Swarthy Daisy. Bye.